this summer, take some time to watch the sunset one night, and then wait around it and watch the stars come out. What I hope you'll be able to do by the end of this video is, first of all, be able to identify some of the brighter stars and constellations that are visible from the northern hemisphere during the summer. And if you're watching this during the summer of 2007, hopefully be able to identify some of the planets that are visible this summer. So first of all, let's start with the sunset itself. And as the sky begins to darken, as that red glow starts to fade out of the sky, you'll notice a really bright object floating above the horizon there. And you'll probably at first think it's an airplane. As it starts to get darker, this thing will look amazingly bright, probably even brighter than airplanes that are in the sky. And this is the planet Venus. So for reference, I'm recording this on July 6th, 2007. And Venus will be visible until just around the beginning of August. It's moving closer and closer to the Earth in its orbit. And as it does so in about August 15th or 16th, it's going to pass through that line or the plane that connects us to the Sun. So, so up until the middle of August, it's, a, it's an evening star or an evening object. And then a couple of months from now, later on in this fall, it'll be visible in the morning sky as a morning star then, having passed us on its orbit. The other place that you can look is if you look due south, so if you're looking at Venus, it's now gotten fairly dark out, and you sweep your view over to the left, and maybe make like a, a you know, quarter turn or so, maybe a little bit more. And the bright object you'll see there is the planet Jupiter. And Jupiter will be visible, I think, until October. So, so for the rest of the summer, you'll, you'll be able to see it. And like I said, for 2007, this is the, the place where there'll be Venus. Of course, will shift back and forth between morning and evening sky on a, a regular pattern. Uh, Jupiter will slowly kind of creep around the sky, completing one orbit every 12 years. So where you see it now is also where it will be 12 years from now. So if you follow, say, for instance, the Chinese zodiac, then this is the year of the boar, also known as the year of the pig. You wait for the next year of the boar or year of the pig, and Jupiter will be back in the same place. So, starting from Jupiter, there's a bright star that will be visible to the right of it, maybe to the right and a little bit down, and that is Antares, the brightest star in Scorpius. And if you kind of, if you're lucky enough to be someplace where it's really dark, and you can see this kind of faint glow, this faint band of light known as the Milky Way our own galaxy, coming up from Antares and th through the rest of the sky there, you'll notice a bright triangle of stars that one of which lies, one of the stars lies on one side of the Milky Way, the other two lie in the band of the Milky Way, and that's the summer triangle. The bright star that lies outside is Vega, the star closest to the horizon is Altair, and the remaining star is Deneb. If you're having trouble locating them just from this description. There's a website I can recommend called www.skyviewcafe.com and it's a free planetarium. Essentially, you load it into a browser. It doesn't need any other special software. Just bring it up in whatever you use to browse the internet and put in the time and the date and your location on the planet and it will tell you what the sky looks like at that time. So maybe using that in conjunction with this video and be able to uh, pick out what is what's visible this summer and actually as far as stars go any summer because they're not too likely to change any time in our lifetimes enjoy <laughs> 